Hi again, I'd like to continue with our talk of the uh, table view here. And uh, like I said, I want to make a to-do app. And, uh, you know, we're going to do this in a few stages. So, um, you know, we're starting here with our table view. And what I want to do now is, in the last video, I, I created the table view and I, I got it to print the same words, you know, hello world in all of the cells. And, you know, we're using, um, you know, number of rows in section and just setting the number to some arbitrary value. You know, I, I put five in there. We could have put, you know, 55. And then we would have, you know, 55 cells all saying hello world, right? That's not too bad, right? Um, but, you know, if they all say the same thing, it really doesn't do us any good, right? It, it is functioning, though. So, uh, so how do we improve on this? Well, what I'd like to do is I would like to, you know, hold some data somewhere that supplies the data for the cells. So what I'm going to do at the top here is I'm going to make a variable. It's going to be an array. So I'll, I'll just call it array. You can call it whatever you like. And then I'll set it equal to, you know, an empty array, okay? And when we get the number of rows in section, what I want to do is I want to get the number of items in the array. So what I'll do is I'll say array dot count. Okay, so now, you know, when we test, we're going to have um, zero cells, right? Because my array has zero items in it and the count of the array is, is zero, right? So, uh, so there, that's not really helping us, right? So, so why don't we do this now? Why don't we put some stuff in our array? So I'll make this an array of strings and in, um, in Swift, uh, you know, an array can only contain one type of information. So this has, like, if I start with a string, everybody's got to be a string here. Okay, so now I've got an array and it's got three items in it, so the array count should be three. And when I test it, you know, there I've got three hello worlds, right? So now I have a problem because, you know, every cell is displaying hello world, but I really want the cells to display the data at the particular location, you know, in the array, right, for their row. So how do we do that? Well, this, this function down here, um, table view cell for row at index path, includes a, a variable called index path. And the index path is an object that contains two properties. It's got um, the section and the row. Okay? So it has a section and a row. So the section says what section you're in in the table view. Remember, your table view can have multiple sections. Our, our table view here only has one section, so everything will be in section one. And then the row says what row you're on, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to um, match up the row of the index path to the item in the array up here, right? And then we can be sure everything's going to match because the number of rows that we returned here is the total count of the array, right? So index path will never ask for any rows more than what we've said the count is, right? So um, so let's go down here and find where it says hello world. And I'm going to switch that for array. And then I'll put the square brackets after the array because I want to get at one of the items in the array. You know, and if I put a, if I put a, uh, you know, a uh, zero here, right, then every cell is going to display the item at, at index 0, which is A, right? So everybody shows A. But instead of the 0, why don't we put index path dot row, okay? So this says index path, row number, and then the row number, you know, when, when cell for row at index path asks us for a cell, it's going to tell us which row it wants, right? So it's going to say 0, 1, 2, right? Let's give it a try. Nice, right? So there's A, B, and C, okay? And, you know, if you add more rows here, like you said, you know, D, E, F, G, then, um, you know, when we test, this time we're going to have, you know, seven rows 
and um, and then they're all going to give you the the letters that we have there. Okay, so uh, so there's so there's your um, your dynamic table view, right? So we'll maybe we'll just stop there and I'll make another 